What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is show you how I tune the CIS injection system for a turbo. Now, there is obviously a few different ways to do this. I'm just going to show you the way that I did it to run boost. Again, I'm only running about 7-8 pounds of boost, non-intercooled. Uh, we do have a water methanol injection setup we will be putting on the car. And then we're going to be turning the boost down to, I want to say, maybe 6 pounds of boost. But that's besides the point, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you, I guess, a quick little rundown on how to tune your CIS for a turbo. Alright, let's check it out. Okay guys, so what I'm going to try to do is explain this the absolute easiest, simple, best way that I can. There is only two things that you're going to want to mess with. You're going to need a 3.5 mil or a 3 mil, I can't remember off the top of my head, Allen key and you're going to be putting it in here, applying just a little bit of pressure, and then adjusting the flap. I personally adjusted mine about one and a half turns, but my car was running a little bit more on the rich side, so that's what I did with this guy right here. This is the air fuel wrap, which obviously measures the resistance on this. Next, what I had to do was take off my EHA valve, which is this guy right here. You're just going to need a flat head, To pop this guy off. All right, now that you have that guy off, you're going to go ahead and start messing with this guy right here. There is two tiny little green O-ring washers that are right here. Let's see if I can pop one of those out for you guys real quick. What you want to do is when you take this thing off, is you're going to want to test and obviously make sure that these aren't crusty or worn or ripped, torn. Usually just replace them, but these actually were replaced. This is, I guess, a fuel distributor that we've been messing with and rebuilding, so it's okay. But just make sure that they're still nice and rubbery so that way they have a good seal and they're not cracking all over the place. <laughs> but next what you're going to want to do is obviously grab your EHA and take out this screw right here. This is not the screw that you're going to use to tune or mess with, I guess, the fuel. You're actually going to be removing this screw right here. Okay, now that that screw is removed, it's very hard to show you guys, but there is an Allen key in there, and that is going to be this nice little one right here. If I'm not mistaken, this is a 2 mil if I'm correct. You're actually going to put this guy in here, and what I like to do is this little dot that's right here, this one, you want to start right there. And then what you're going to do is I like to only turn this about an eighth of a turn because this adjustment is very, very touchy. If you do a quarter of a turn or half a turn right from the get, it might be too much. Your car might not start and then you'll have a few issues. So like I said, I'm trying to just explain this, I guess, the easiest and the best way I can to people that kind of know what the K-Jet system is. All right, guys. So I do want to make it clear really fast that you do not take off your fuel distributor CIS system when you're tuning the vehicle. I was just trying to show you guys with one that was already off the car. I figured it'd be a little bit easier. But, yeah, you are going to keep it on. That's number one. Number two, if you don't have an air-fuel ratio gauge when you're doing this, you're going to be tuning in the dark. You're really not going to know... I guess exactly what the car is doing you need one for sure 100 percent. if you don't have one i wouldn't even recommend trying to do it it definitely makes the job a million times easier you're going to know if you're running rich lean whatever the car is doing long story short you're going to need one but other than that this is my setup this is how i've been tuning these cars for a very long time I haven't had any issues with them whatsoever if you look at my past videos you'll see I've done this multiple times with no issues similar setups though no but yeah I really appreciate you guys watching the videos checking them out commenting liking I do appreciate it if you guys have any more comments questions or want to see anything specific uh, please just let me know and I'll be more than happy to do my best to show you I guess how to do it and what to do